back here on Barry 75 Granville. I've got the air cleaner off because we are going to do a little bit of maintenance and maybe some carb and timing adjustments. But first, we're going to do fluids, trans fluid, oil, and coolant. But we have filters and all of that jazz, so we're going to take care of that right now. So this car still had the original air filter with the original pre-filter, which we're gonna save. It is original, but we have a new filter for it, which will help this thing breathe. Um, also, got us a new breather filter. Got us a new fuel filter. Got us a new PCV. And one that's always overlooked on these cars new filter for the charcoal canister i can't tell you how many times we have a car that runs funny that's because this is plugged up so we replace this and half the time they'll run better because the damn thing can breathe all right so here's the filter for the charcoal canister i've pulled out the original one note they are the same size this one isn't too bad Mainly because the car only has 17,000 miles on it. But, may as well replace it. PCV. Valve, and it's seen better days. It barely even moves in there. So this is going to help this engine run better as well. Nice new PCV. Is in. Happy, happy, happy. Things are coming along. Ooh, loose vacuum line. Fixed it. All right. Now we drain fluids. All right. Drain the oil. Remove the trans pan, which is a whole lot of fun. And it's hard to shoot video down there, so just went ahead and pulled it. Took out the old filter, put the fresh filter in. Sealed everything back up. So we're getting ready to put new fluids in on the coolant. I already got it topped off. But obviously when I start the car, I'm going to fire it up. And let it burp. Burpy, burp, burpy. And then we are going to do a little bit of carb adjustment. And we're going to check our timing too. Because it hasn't really ran perfect. All right. So, everything's full. I'm going to fire it up as is. Let it get up to temp. I'm going to burp the cooling system. And then, I do want to do a little bit of adjusting with our idle mixture. I don't know, she might breathe better now that we have fresh filters everywhere. So, let's see. All right, she's all fired up. I know I don't have the lid on the air cleaner, that's okay. Let the cooling system burp. What's funny is the car seems smoother now already. Obviously there's no lid though, so. But part of me thinks PCV and uh, filter down there on the charcoal canister. This baby's definitely help. All right, I burped the cooling system. Now she's going to build pressure. You can see a little bit on the floor from burping it. I'll wipe that up. I'll get everything to do its own thing. Let it finish warming up. Give it a little bit of uh, adjustment. All right, so. I ridged it up at idle, and it picked up quite a bit RPM-wise, and smoothed out quite a bit. So I'm going to put her in gear and see how she is. I mean, it is a 75 with a cat. I'm definitely going to assume it's going to be a skosh on the lazy side, but... You know, 
Ooh, way smoother. That's all she wanted. A little more fuel at idle. All right. Going for a little test drive. Seems like we got a little rattly wheel cap. Or something in a hub. It's gonna drive me nuts. We're gonna have to find that when we get back. Just a quick trip around the block. That's a daddy car, definitely. Drives good. Fucking rattle's gonna drive me nuts though. Man, that's nice. Found our annoying rattle. So when you go get new tires, these are the original tires, that's terrifying. Um, when you go get new tires, I've that tightened up. 